So the Holger 556 and the HRM9 gotta be the fastest TTK loadout gun. And I'm serious when I say that, they absolutely demolish. So we're gonna get in here and build out the ideal fastest TTK loadout for you guys. If you enjoy it, be sure to give it a like, subscribe, notifications turned on, and let's get into it. All right, so breaking down this Holger 556, this actually got a buff today to make the recoil even more manageable. So you're gonna be able to hit even more shots. And of course, I got a 30 plus kill gameplay here on solo quads to be able to showcase all this. But for first attachment, we're gonna go throw on that VT7 Spirit Fire Suppressor. This is a really good attachment to keep us off the radar. And of course, it helps our overall recoil control, bullet velocity, damage range, all the good stuff making us just overall more effective at range. I really like it over any type of compensator or something else like that. Now we're gonna go up into that barrel section. We're gonna throw on the Cryos 6 match barrel, increasing our overall blue velocity and range, recoil control and gun kit control, making this more effective at distance, which is ideally what we want here from our Holger because it is our primary assault rifle. I mean, I do largely run this pretty much on like Rebirth and you know, Vondel and Fortune's Keep. I'm not exactly sure how well this exact build will fare on big map resurgence or big map, my bad but uh, definitely give this a try on Resurgence. Now going down here to the underbarrel section, we're gonna throw on the 40 rounds mag. So this is absolutely necessary to run on this gun. I wish there was a 50 or a 60, but unfortunately we do not have the option for either of those. So we have to run the 40. Now we're gonna go up in here to the optics section and throw on the Jack Glassless. This is really good because it helps our firing aiming stability as well as being a really nice crisp blue dot red dot sight. Uh, but what it does, like that firing aiming stability kind of minimizes your overall visual recoil, making your ability to hit your shots even better. So that's why so many people run this. It just all like pretty much minimizes your overall recoil on the gun. And I really like that. So it makes it super easy to be able to use this gun anyways. Now for our last attachment, we're gonna go throw on the RB Adult Assault Stock, and this is just gonna help us uh, recoil control and gun kit control. Um, it does 9, 14, and 14% 14 overall, and it only increases our ADS speed uh, negatively by about 3%. So it really does hardly anything at all to slow you down while giving you tons of great recoil control benefits. So this is my full Holger 556 build. Now let's move into the HRM. All right, so hopping in here to the HRM, this is gonna be kind of a revised build from what I normally would be running. So let's get into it. First thing is gonna be that Zem 35 compensated flash hider, Zem and whatever you wanna call it, Pretty much this is the compensated flash hider we run on a majority of our smgs shortens their overall radar ping helps your vertical and horizontal recoil and your firing aiming stability this is realistically about the overall recoil stabilization you know attachment is like the only one you're really going to need for this specific gun next up barrel section we're going to go through on that thor 90. i see people going in there and running the high grain rounds instead of the thor 90 which is totally doable, acceptable. But for me personally, I run that 490 as I feel like it's just overall better. And I like being able to really bob and weave and move around. And this definitely helps me do that more so than just running some high grain rounds. Now we're going down to the underbrow section. And pretty much when you're building out one of these SMGs, you want to choose between one of these four right here, the XRK, FTAC MSP, DR6, or the X10 Phantom 5. You really don't need to mess with any of this other stuff down here. And I just had that Bruin Heavy saved just because I run it on a lot of my assault rifles. But pretty much when you go for that DR6 hand stop, this is going to increase our overall movement speed here quite a bit. It's a little bit behind my face cam, but 4%, 11% for our movement and crouch movement speed um, gives us 6% in our ADS movement speed. And our ADS speed is given, uh, given to us an increase by 10% in our sprint to fire by 9%. So we just made this gun so much faster just by the singular attachment. Now for the magazine, we're going to throw on that 50 round drum. Uh, this is pretty much, you know, what you have to run. No reason to ever run that 30. That's not sufficient for Warzone. They don't even have it pretty much on the ground loot one. So you don't ever want to run it on your actual loadout gun. You always want to run that 50. Lastly, when you go up to that stock section, throw in that hatchet light stock. And instead of the folding stock, if you feel like you want a little bit more recoil control for whatever reason, throw in the folding stock. But for me personally, I enjoy running that hatchet, especially on Rebirth Island. It helps me out tremendously. I mean, it, it doesn't have crazy overall increases to, to your statistics, but getting more ADS speed, aim walking speed, and movement speed is never a bad thing when it comes down to an SMG you're trying to move around with in close quarters. So definitely throw that on there. That's my HRM build. That has been my Holger 556 build and creating the fastest TTK loadout. And I got a banger gameplay for you guys to watch. So hope you guys enjoy that. No, we are not doing that. Why does he get direct impacted?
All right, there's got to be yeah something. Huh. Okay, no. There's nothing different. I'll take a haymaker over that. No, an empty RPG. There we go. Wait. Still alive up there? Good kill. Marking the rest of that squad on your tack map. Go get hunting. Yeah, just give me give me anything besides that RPG. Take that. Bro, I for real got headshot up by an RPG up here. Like no BS, I did. That, that's that's gotta be one of the most ridiculous things that happened to me. Easily in this mode. I'm not I'm not even camping, dog. Gas is inbound, marking a new safe zone. That's the crazy part. I'm moving. There's a fire sale. I'd actually probably just go buy my guns, but remaining operators from that squad. That worked out real well. Let's not do that. Let's not snipe me from boat. There's a long range option. This Bruin's an absolute like heater. Yo. Okay. How did I not reload that? All right, a little speed boost. Fill up. Enemies dropping into the AO. Gas is closing in. Gas is closing in. Get to the new safe zone. No. Who's talking about eating ass over here? Oh, we are not the same. We're not on the same team. Things will help. You're you for real camping up there? Certified bum. Yeah, someone's got the same thing as me. Enemy destroyed. Use your attack map to hunt down the rest of them. 
You don't need it. You really don't need to do the most. You for real do not need to do the most. Okay. How cool am I? We do not need you squad wiping. Okay, so we're yeah, there's these three. No. Come on, bring your cute ass down here. I'm coming up, I guess. Goodbye. Bro, I swear, I sometimes should not be getting some of these downs. What? What do you say? No plates and a big dick. Many downs I got this game is actually kind of probably wild. Fire sale active. Buy station prices have been reduced. Hey, why did I not just uh, regen? Well, I picked up a different perk package. I am wow. I really could use actually having quick fix. Quick, quick fix is just like such a goaded perk. I thought I saw that red in there. All right, what do y'all have my perk? The perk package that I had? Yep. Where are people battling it out? Oh. On the edge like that? Getting up. Ooh. Has closed. No more second chances. Got people up here with you? Maybe, maybe. My accuracy, I swear, sometimes it's just so ass. Sometimes it is just like absolute garbage. I think a lot. Oh, wait. Is it me and, is it for real me and one guy? Wait, it is.
Bro, there's no way it's me and one guy. That was insane. I think a little 30 on the dot right there. Damn, that was that was actually kind of nuts. 